TLDR, and they're all right. Oh my god, guys, video games are so expensive. Eh, not really. In my opinion, they're fairly priced. Like, for example, the average movie ticket costs about $10, and the movie is like, what, two hours long? So that's about $5 per hour. But video games, on the other hand, cost $60. However, comma, they take about 40 hours to beat, which is about a dollar and a half per hour. Hey, that's pretty good. Not to mention that some games can easily be played for over a hundred hours. But now, I want to talk about DLCs. What gaming companies do is they take a chunk of a video game out, and then they sell that. For money. Why, why do you guys do this? Do you guys support Hitler or something? Like, like, what? Oh, hey, I got two hours to spare. Let's just play for a little bit. God damn. Uh, yeah, was, uh, okay. Xbox is better. No, PlayStation is better. No, it's all about the Wii. Are you retarded? It's all about PC Master Race. Guys, guys, you're missing the point here. The Master, Console, PC, whatever, is obviously- <laughs> Girl gamers are either praised, or they're told to go home. Go home, gamer girl. And a lot of people think that the gaming community is just a huge sausage fest. And, I mean, it is. But actually, as a matter of fact, there are just as many girl gamers as there are guys, so... And there's one girl I knew that just totally kicks my butt in Melee, so I just want to point that out. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play episode 69. So, I'm gonna teach you how to make a bench- MOM! GET OUT OF MY ROOM! Oh, I get it. I get the joke. I got it. I got it, yeah. Wasn't funny, but I got it. No. A short film by Pip Flip featuring Pip Dip and the odd ones out. Oh boy, can't wait to sell all of my games. Philip said he drove to the nearest GameStop and talked to the employee. I'd like to sell this game, please, states Philip, and the employee responds with Alright, wait a minute. A few minutes go by when Here's your money, kid. How much for a used game? 50 bucks, kid. Yeah, these just aren't that funny anymore, you know? They're they're funny when they first came out, but you know, it's like now it's like just it's why? Uh, um So I'd like to give a huge thanks to the handsome man himself, James, from the Odd Ones Out. So yeah, th th thanks.